What's my glucose? You're 149 and steady. Why I'm always rising when I'm filming. If you're not using your phone and your watch to view your blood sugar readings, you're missing out. So let me show you how to set it all up. Actually, let me show you all the cool things you can do with your phone and your watch when it comes to viewing and hearing your blood sugar levels. The first thing you need is to download the Dexcom G6 app to your phone. The app has a green logo and you can get it from Apple Store or Google Play Store. There are two versions of this app. One uses milligrams per deciliter and one uses millimoles per liter. So just make sure you download the one that's using the units you are used to. Once the app is downloaded, create an account or just log in if you already have one. Next, you need to apply the Dexcom G6 sensor and activate it. The app will take you through this process step by step from setting up your alerts, entering your sensor code, applying the sensor and pairing the transmitter with your phone. And if you need help with the initial setup, I have another video on this topic which I will link here and in the show notes if you want to check it out. Once the sensor is through the initial two hour warm up period, you will be able to view your blood glucose readings in the app. The app also shows you a daily graph and when you flip the screen, you can zoom in and out. You can get it as close as one hour and as far as 24 hours, which is super helpful. Before I show you all the other cool ways to view your readings, just keep in mind, you always need to have Bluetooth on and you need to have the Dexcom G6 app running in the background. Now, when you want to view your blood sugar number, trend and graph, you'd normally need to unlock your phone and open the Dexcom G6 app. But that's not very convenient. So let me show you a few very cool ideas how to get the number, graph and trend without giving to go to your phone and opening the app. A super cool way to do this is your voice controlled personal assistant. It looks like this. What's my glucose? You're 149 and steady. To set it up on your iPhone, you need to be connected to the internet. Open the Dexcom G6 app, click on settings and then click on Siri shortcuts. And if you haven't used Siri before, you will be guided to set it up first, but it's super easy, so don't worry about that. The only Siri shortcut available in the Dexcom G6 app is get glucose. So we will click on that one and click done. And from now on, you can ask Siri anytime you want to know what your blood glucose is. Now, I haven't tested the voice control on Android because I don't have Android phone, but I did a little research and it looks like you need a third party app like Night Scout or SugarMate to be able to set it up on Android. If any Android users are watching, please let us know in the comments below. Another cool way to view your readings is on the home screen of your phone using a Dexcom widget. To set it up, just long press on your phone's home screen and click the plus icon in the top left corner of your screen. Then start typing Dexcom in the search widget box, select Dexcom G6, click add widget and done. From now on, you will see the blood glucose value trend and graph on your home screen. The widgets should work for all US iPhone users. If you're outside of the US, you might not be able to set it all up yet, but let's hope that Dexcom will fix this soon. For Android users, again, I believe you need a third party solution, but feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. Having your readings available on your phone is great, but having them on your watch is a next level experience. Trust me. I have an Apple Watch, so I simply opened the watch app on my phone select Dexcom G6 app and install it on my watch. Once this is done, you will see the green logo of your Dexcom G6 app amongst all the other apps on your watch. Click on it and it will show you your current glucose number, trend arrow and your glucose graph for the past three hours. And you can again zoom in and out by slowly rotating the digital crown. But what I like the most about checking my blood sugars on my watch is that I can see the current glucose number and trend arrow on the face of the watch. Just by taking a quick glance on my wrist. To set this up on an Apple Watch, you need to choose the right watch face complication. So go to the watch app and choose the infograph modular watch face. And here you can click on the top left complication and select Dexcom G6, which will allow the Dexcom G6 readings to be shown in the top left of your screen. Click set as current watch face. And next time you will take a glance at your wrist, you will see your current glucose number and trend arrow in the top left of your screen. And for me, this is such great help to get closer control of my blood glucose without all the distractions that are waiting for me in the form of notifications on my phone. Just keep in mind that you always need your phone on you when you want to view your readings on the Apple Watch. The sensor doesn't feed the data directly to the watch, it feeds them to the phone and then they go from the phone to the watch via Bluetooth. The thing is, if you really want to take full advantage of all Dexcom functions and features to improve your blood glucose 
levels. You should know much more than what your diabetes educators might have told you. In fact, I have another video on my channel where I share 33 more Dexcom tips and hacks that made my life so much easier. The video is right here, so click it and watch it next. I will see you there. Ciao!